My name is Giacomo. I'm part of Glim's core team. I'm the author of our snapshot testing library, so I'm going to be showcasing that. Let's start with something I think we can all agree on. Unit tests are good, maybe even better than good. They're great, but we don't write nearly enough of those. Also, sometimes it can be quite boring writing unit tests. So this is how you would write a unit test in Glim. Even if you've never seen the language before, I think you can get a good sense of what is going on here. So it reads almost like an English sentence. One plus one should equal two. That's fine and all, but we wish our unit tests were this simple in the real world. So imagine a more complex example, like you're writing a programming language. I think that's a fitting example for the Lambda Days crowd, who hasn't? Um, and you want it to be statically typed, to have great error messages, and of course you need to be testing that. So you compile your program, you get the error messages, and now you need to write a test. You need to say, my error message looks exactly like this. I wanted to present this kind of information. It needs a specific wording, so on and so forth. You get the idea. But who wants to write this kind of unit tests? It's boring, it's repetitive, it's error prone, and even worse, if you decide you want to change the look of your error messages, now you're full of failing tests, and you need to go and change every single one, go and edit the string manually, and of course, no one wants to do that. We developers, we like automating things. And that's where snapshot testing comes into play. So the promise is snapshot testing can free us of the burden of writing those assertion strings, for example. So how can it do that? It sounds almost too good to be true. It looks a bit magical, so don't blink. I have nothing up my sleeves, but don't blink or you're gonna miss it. Um, we can make that expected value disappear using a snapshot testing library, and this is what it would look like. So the library is called Birdie, and what is going on here? We still have the piece of code we want to be testing, of course, uh, but now instead of writing an assertion, what we're doing is we're asking the library to produce a snapshot. That looks a bit magical, like, how can the library now know when our test should pass or should fail? Of course, it can't read our minds. I'm not that good a developer, so it can't do that. If we run our test, what is going to happen? Not really exciting. The test is just going to fail. So it would be quite a useless library if we only get red tests. We want them to be green. And how can we do that? Well, I lied. You don't only get a failing test. What you're getting is also a nice little output a nice little string, and it has the content of your snapshot, so the thing we wanted to be testing. And a little hint here, it says, try running this command to review your snapshots. So now a human needs to be in the loop. It needs to check the snapshots. Go through the review process. You are going to be presented with the snapshots one by one. You get to check if it is correct, if it has the desired look, for example, if you're reviewing your error messages and you need to say, okay, I accept this snapshot, or I don't accept it, it has a bug, I need to go and fix my code. Quite usual. And once you're done, that's where the magic happens. Now all your tests are going to be green, and they are going to be passing as long as your functions produce the exact same output. So the library is going to be checking that for you. We no longer need to be writing those assertion strings by hand. It's boring, no one wants to do that. And you have the library doing that for you. You just need to instruct it, tell it what is the desired output. And the nice thing is, if your function changes, if you improve your error message, for example, now you're going to be seeing a nice diff view. We like diffs. Um, and it's going to pinpoint exactly what has changed so that it is easier to uh, go through the review process. And that's quite nice. That's quite a good developer experience. So, yeah, that's it. That's snapshot testing in a nutshell. Um, if you like it, if you think it's interesting, maybe check my library out. It's called Birdie, or check Gleam out even. I would be even happier. Um, or if you see me walking around, please have a chat. I would love to. Thank you very much.